Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. This is a DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the IAM policy. Using that IAM policy, you can access to the particular S3 bucket alone. So in your organization, you have one of the user. For that particular user, you have to give some access of S3 bucket. He should not able to access all the buckets, but he can able to view those buckets. How you can do that? Let's see uh, in this video. For this, I am going to create one IAM user here. So you can same follow this method. So I'm going to user and create user and I'm going to give the username is S3 user for dev. So this user is having the AWS console management access and this I want this user as a IAM user and I'm going to give some custom password for logging purpose. You can generate your own password whatever you want or you can give auto generate password. Also you can give to a user to reset the password while logging first time. I'm not going to give the user to reset the password first time and uh, give next and uh, I'm going to uh, attach the policy uh, right now. I'm not going to do that. Just I'm going to create the user alone. So once I created the user, you can see here I have the login URL. So this is going to be the URL of the user. So I'm going to uh, give this uh, lo um, login. So next uh, once um i got a username and password as well so here this is my this is my account id and if you don't have or uh, you know the account id how to check you can go to your account and you can see here this is the account id which i given here so you can uh, use it as a iam user so and this is the username and this is going to be the password and once I sign in, you can see in my console, I don't have the access of S3 buckets because I did not give this access to the user. So the user does not have the access of the S3 buckets. Actually, none of the buckets having the access for this user, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one IAM policy. So in this case, I have already created the IAM policy. So let's uh, review this policy. So my policy name is S3 bucket policy latest. This is my policy name. And uh, I will show you the policy. You can see here. Uh, I will give you the GitHub link for this policy. You can use for your own purpose. And uh, here what I have mentioned, I want to list all my buckets and um, this is going to be the uh, get bucket location. And uh, here I have given the name of the bucket which the user need only the access of this particular bucket alone. And he can able to get put and delete the objects in this particular bucket and inside this bucket also he having the access of the resources. So you can see in my uh, admin console, there are two buckets currently I have, but I have given the access for this only one, this one of the bucket alone. So this is going to be my policy. I'm going to attach uh, to the user, to this policy, to this particular user alone. So here is my user. And go to the user inside the user you can see add permissions and go to attach policy here and uh, here is my customized policies i'm going to attach this policy next add permission i added the policy right now now i'm going to my iam user console here you can see here i don't have the permission right now i'm going to refresh this console once i refresh this one you can see here, I got access of all the buckets which I listed in the my admin console. For example, 
if you want to create a new bucket as well you can give the bucket to this user so uh, s3 bucket uh, test uh, you can see, get for this uh, bucket um here i am creating one new bucket let's see whether we can able to uh, see this bucket in the uh, console with the iam user or not so i am creating this bucket and uh, so i could not give any underscore here let's create this bucket and see whether uh, we can able to see this bucket as well in this console or not now i have total three buckets here i am the iam user and refresh this console we are getting right now three buckets but when you go inside this bucket i have this access for this bucket inside the directories i have the all access i can able to download and i can able to get good uh, delete everything and i can able to do but when i go inside this bucket and when i go this inside this bucket i don't have a access so if i want the access for this bucket i have to edit this policy again which means i have to add the bucket resource again adding the resource and arn and with the bucket name again and adding the resource and arn aws colon s3 and with the bucket name slash star so that i will get the other buckets whatever i have mentioning in the uh, iam policy so like that like this you can give the access via iam policy to any user whatever you want you can control your s3 bucket access via iam policy i hope this video is helpful and uh, if you find this insightful give thumbs up like my channel like my uh, video and subscribe my channel follow for the more videos thanks for watching